Picking up, it is 640 on your Tuesday morning and in this morning's yes. cruise in Connecticut, the streets of New Haven will be flooded this weekend with some of the top bike racers in the okay. U.S. for the second annual New Haven Grand Prix. That's right. News H. Ryan Christopher suited up to give you a preview. And Ryan, like a lot of your stories, <laughs> I can't wait to see. Uh, thank you so much. Such a compliment. Good morning to you and good morning to you at home. This is going to be a huge event this Friday in the Connecticut Cycling Advancement Program. They help kids here in the state get access to organized cycling and the program has really been a key player in making the Grand Prix a success. In leading up to you, do you, do you wear this like out in the town when you're going grocery shopping or what? Uh, you bet. Yeah. you got to get the name out there and make sure everybody sees CCAP. Tell us what we can expect this year. What last year was and then plus a lot more. Yeah. The uh, Beats Feast has grown to the it Beats and Eats Feast, so we'll have more food vendors out. Sierra Nevada will again have a fantastic beer garden. We're going to have a freestyle trick show that's sponsored by Powder Ridge Park. Cool. Uh, so we'll have two of the country's best freestyle riders dueling. Of course, the main show, the pro race, will be spectacular and that goes off at 8 30. what speeds are you going at very fast you never look down to see what you're actually going but it'll be hitting top speeds of around 40 to 45 in the pro race we'll have about 100 guys which is a very full field and then there's also an amateur race that happens before it that will have uh, similar numbers and then a, a junior race there which is really the marquee event that starts first and that will have between 60 and 80 kids. How many miles do you guys ride in an average day? Just the train? Yeah, anywhere from 20 to 150 miles. 150? Right, come on, why? What's the point of 150 miles? Why? Because we want to come to the race and then eat a lot of pizza at the Pizza ah, Meats Feast. <laughs> gotta stock up on those carbs. Now it all makes sense. Have you ever been dropped before? What's dropped? What? I think it was a spandex. Wow. That's kind of a big range. Bye, yeah. honey. It's either going to be 20 miles or 150. Or 150. <laughs> I'll either see you at noon or at 8 o'clock today, yeah. one of the two there. But uh, it's going to be a great event. Again, Friday uh, kicks off at 4 o'clock with all the food vendors. And then the pro races start at 8.30. And it's downtown New Haven, right in the green. Yeah. So I, I, I hope Keith is there wearing his full spandex. Yeah. We, well. we will see. Keep looking hard for me. <laughs> Keep looking hard. We will do that. All right, Ryan, that. thank you. All right, News 8 is a, uh, proud to be a big part of Friday's New Haven Grand Prix, where cyclists will ride through the streets of New Haven, and thousands of people will be there to watch it. We have live coverage all day on Friday on WTNH.com and the News 8 app. We have Friday's schedule, a look at the streets impacted, and a rundown of the charities that benefit from the big event. All right, on